गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल क्यू एल इट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडे सेशन इज डिजाइन फॉर ऑल द क्यू ए प्रोफेशनल लाइक क्यू एसोसिएट्स क्यू ए इंजीनियर सीनियर क्यू एस क्यू एल इट्स इफ यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर रोल देन शेयर दिस वीडियो टू अदर्स इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग वेल एंड यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ रिकैप you are looking to get the complete information about your job and responsibilities then please continue with this video first of all i want to ask a question to you guys what do you think about qa job responsibilities i want you to remind your day to day activities and if you are working since i uh, means you are uh, in a so then you know very well but just i want you to remind your your own responsibility okay i want to give you a glimpse of hence like uh, your your career or your day to day activities mostly starts like this first of all if you you are assigned to any any project then of course there would be the time that starts with brd or you just store it dating then you gonna uh, create a strategy to uh, test all those application or written document how that that is going to build up as application then you going to create a test plan documents uh, of course you going to think about the how you going to uh, you going to fulfill the quality metrics of that application if there is a sprint planning so of course you can think about the how you going to uh, what all are the huge cases going to cover in particular sprint then then you going to move to the test creation part checklist no document checklist part test data preparation test environment environment configuration and later on you going to execute the test cases and uh, whatever issues are there you going to report to the team members so this is just a glance now i i just want to give or want to discuss in detail so that you people have the complete information about the job responsibility so in a in a constructive manner i'm going to discuss one by one so here are requirement analysis test planning test uh, case design test execution defect reporting and tracking regression testing test reporting continuous improvement so what do you think about requirement analysis mostly you get uh, the requirement in uh, in a two modes one is uh, um, one as brd and second is as user story if you are working with agile process any of the agile process then there would be the user story and if you are uh, uh, working with the you know one time requirement i would say in uh, if requirement is covered in particular brd that is also called as a waterfall model so here i am going to discuss in detail that mostly qa reads the brd document user story finds the actual use cases and work closely with the business anal analyst product manager and developer to understand the requirement and specification of application this ensure that as a qa i have a clear understanding of the expected functionality and can uh, can create relevant test cases moreover i just want to add one more thing that in case of any clarification directly comment on the a brd point which point you want to clear, uh, you need a clarification or if you are reading a story then in the user story put the comment otherwise you can also plan a call with ba project manager or developer who sober has the information or product knowledge about who can give the clarification next move to the test planning so here test planning means mostly uh, you going to make a test plan document there would be the comp comprehensive information from start to end just like a brd just like a sow kind of document so in in an, in the test plan also related to testing from scratch to end you going to cover all those part so here i am going to read this particular description also 
so qa prepares this comprehensive test plan document and outline the scope approach resources and schedule for the testing activities this plan serves as a guide for testing process and helps to ensure that all the necessary tests are executed just like a brd sow test document also plays a crucial role to deliver the expected application to the client so here i just want to highlight you try to make as per industry standard uh, standard uh, test plan document because that document also will be shared to the client and they also think about your testing uh, you know strategy are you covering all those requirement all those critical functionality how you gonna highlight all those out of, outline the scope or out of scope or functional non functional how you when you gonna start the testing what kind of you know st overall your planning is there to complete this application so so qa can be evaluated through test plan document also so it's a it, this document plays a crucial role for a qa member so try to make a complete or comprehensive test plan now test case design so qa creates detailed test cases for manual testing ensuring that all the relevant scenarios are covered this includes positive negative boundary and as cases to validate the application's functionality performance and security and also i want to add one more thing because today's uh, there would be the you know three different devices might be one is web second is android and third is ios mobile so if you have that kind of also a uh, requirement there in the vrd so try to uh, create the test cases accordingly so that you gonna execute the test cases and you are looking forward to have the same functionality in all three devices now i'm moving to next here here i just want to add one more thing if project follow the agile process then creates the test cases accordingly according to sprint if Agile process is there. It means user story will be there, and according to user story, you gonna complete. So let's say in in particular sprint, there are ten user story, and against ten user story, you gonna create hundred plus test cases. So try to create flow by all those test cases, so that if anyone can see your test cases, so there would be the flow, including all those uh, positive, negative, and all those test cases. so let's move to the next here uh, test execution so i am going to elaborate also this point so qa executes manual test to the uh, to identify defects inconsistencies and any deviations from the expected functionality also prioritize the test cases based on their importance and uh, uh, level risk in the project suppose you are uh, testing uh, executing the test cases and you are finding because there would be the several uh, issues like that like uh, uh, priority one issues priority two, two issues priority three issues so you you can see all those if any bug is related to functionality so of course or any test case is related to functionality so that would be count as a p1 and you going to prioritize like that and it's good accordingly now i'm moving to the defect reporting and tracking so when a qa finds defects or issues makes log them in, in a in a bug tracking system like jira bugzilla on providing detailed information about the issues steps to reproduce and any relevant screenshots or logs also collaborate with the development team to ensure timely uh, resolution of the issues so see whenever you find an issue of course you gonna mention the steps also so that there would be the less communication of if you are reporting any bug to any team so if you are putting all those steps screenshot or if you have mobile you gonna record and you gonna produce that video to the developer so they, they don't need to connect and they don't don't need to get connected with you for clarification and everything and put this in the particular uh, bug tracker tools 
Now here defect life cycle must be followed to timely SIT closure because all those testing happening in the SIT stage of project. So of course defect cycle will be there. Suppose what is first of all what is the defect life cycle? So life cycle is start from the uh, bug creation. Then you assign to the concerned person. If if he or she agrees to as as a count as a bug, then of course he gonna he or she gonna fix that issue and uh, fix that issue and uh, assign to you to retest and close this. So the, uh, if you are taking follow up or following the defect cycle, so it will help to close the bug timely and report the team members, a project manager uh, on daily basis so that there would be tracking to uh, close the, those bugs and uh, sp sp close the project or close, close the sprint timely. Now regression testing, here QA performs regression testing to verify that any changes or bug fixes have not introduced new defect or affected existing functionality. And this is crucial to maintaining the overall quality and stability of the application. So here I just want to add you one more thing that if you, what do you think about regression? Regression is the particular uh, testing type. Uh, which is game going to perform suppose it any bug is getting fixed related to any functionality then you need to perform regression to ensure that just because of one fix another is not impacted it is not mostly used to uh, while you fix any any cosmetic changes any level changes like that but if you are fixing uh, if you are uh, if your developer team fixes any any particular uh, functionality related bugs and that may that may impact other functionality so you as a qa you need to perform the regression testing to ensure that our system is working as expected or functionality is not imp impacted other functionality it's reporting so here uh, qa generates the test report to provide insights into the testing process including the number of uh, case executed past failed and overall test cover um, coverage this report helped stakeholder to uh, understand the processes, uh, progress and quality of the application under test. So here I just want to highlight you that apart from daily reporting as a QO, you must have a particular master reporting sheet so that you gonna maintain all those, how many test cases you have executed, what all are the count of bugs or feedback our overall project status so that any stakeholder can any point of time uh, refer the, your that report and uh, get to know the exact status of this application or development cycle. Now continuous improvement. You actively participate in team meetings, retro, uh, retro, uh, retrospectivities and process improvement initiatives to share previous project insights learning to uh, colleagues to ensure that our testing practices remains active and efficient. So here again, I would say that as a QA member, see at the same time, suppose you are in the office, there would be a multiple projects running around at a time. And if you are thinking that some information is important to share other other team member also, so of course our regularly meeting will be there and you want to share in the group that that kind of issue or that kind of you know scenario i am handling there and it will help to other project members also so thank you so much team members and thank you guys thanks for your participation and best of luck for your future endeavors i hope this session will help you to understand the job responsibilities and uh, for experience one this recap of course, you gonna that, that this the cap is going to help you to become more efficient person as a QA. Thank you so much. Thanks for your precious time. Thanks.